Hello and welcome to the start of a new XCOM 2 playthrough. Our highlight mods are Alpha's class pack, this is our soldier class pack that we're going to be using, and also raider factions which are going to be separate from Alien and the Advent Forces. Uh, but if we're using four of them. Anyway, I will explain more about the mods as we go. These part ones tend to be quite, I guess, context heavy. There's a lot of chitter chatter just to sort of set up the playthrough, but typically would be starting a mission in the playthrough itself. All right, I guess we will get on with things, right? So legend difficulty as as is the case every time. We are actually going to select the skirmisher headquarters. The reason for this is because one of the classes, I think the commando class, and in fact, I think yeah, the Commando class has the Ripjack, and I think two of the classes rely on Bullpups. And apparently some people have had issues at least getting the Ripjack if you do not have the Skirmishers unlocked, as it were. So we're going to start with them just to avoid that potentially being a problem. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is not create it equal, so that we have a little bit of variety amongst the Soldier stats. We don't need to select Commander's Choice, that just seems to be uh, in effect by default. Okay, right. That's enough of that. Those are the only two things we're going to be selecting. Uh, next it is. And without Iron Man, because we are running about 130 something mods, so yeah. Uh, integrated downloadable content. Basically, we're not going to be using the Alien Hunters and the... Uh, well, we are going to be using the Sparks, but we're not going to be doing the missions. And we're not doing the Alien Rulers either, so... Right, anyway, let's go. Okay, and here's the Sky Ranger landing because if you've ever watched any of my playthroughs before, at least the last few, I absolutely hate Gate Crusher. Hate it with a passion. Uh, so it's a no-go for me. Right, I am seeing a new face here and a few familiar ones. Um, okay, here is our list. We've got five automatic promotions and we obviously had uh, Barter, our, uh, one of our skirmishers. I think we have two, don't we? We've got Judge as well as the other one. Uh, but yeah, we've got Human. We've got the current MVP. That's quite fitting that she's here. Um, everybody gets some kills by default, by it would seem as well. So some freebies, a freebie mission, as it were. Uh, we're not going to promote here because that, then we don't get the choice over promotion. So we'll avoid that. Uh, we start with a engineer and a scientist because we're playing on covert infiltration. That's the other thing as well. I should probably have mentioned that at the start. You pretty much have to play this game, I think, of covert infiltration now. It's just so much really enriches the experience but doesn't give you the same um, intensity as Lon War. It's like a very nice happy medium. Okay another mod that we're using is more traits and people start with negative traits as well as um, positive traits. So in this case the skirmisher is apparently a hunter of sectoids. This unit will deal additional damage when encountering an enemy sectoid. We might have to take you out on the first mission then because we're definitely going to see some sectoids right early on. Uh, they'll be the most the toughest enemy. So some people are going to have negative traits as you can see. They all appear as negative even if they're positive. So if someone's cautious, that's negative. Uh, Shazad has urban combat training. So that's actually a positive, meaning um, if we try and find Shazad, there she is. Uh, this unit will have plus two mobility in urban areas. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's take a look at the roster. Who else have we got? Yeah, we have Meerkat back. Uh, we've got Human, very loyal soldier to the human cause. Uh, Spoon, welcome back Spoon. We've got Deffy, although aesthetically I couldn't quite get him the way he wanted. We'll work on that. I think I might be able to change you to the Reaper looking sort of thing soon actually. Um, anyway, Peter is back. That is awesome. He's going to be a heavy gunner. We've got Andrea, we've got Seika. We've got another new one. We've got Tony Bisco... Sorry if I mispronounced this. Biscoito dos Bifes. And he is... Yeah, we've got two Portuguese. He's going to be a sniper I believe alongside Headhunter. Uh, we've got Jay Pauly, aka Daniel Swain. He's going to be a commando. He's got the cautious trait. Right, so this is a negative trait. Chance to hunker down in a defensive posture after their first move action. That is something that's going to be very annoying. We want to try and nip that one in the bud. So in order to get rid of negative actions, uh, negative traits, sorry, they have to go on three successful missions, and I think they're not allowed to be injured either. So, And I think those have to be consecutive as well. So I think the mission has to be successful and they cannot get injured. Um, yeah, I don't even, they may even have to be flawless missions potentially. We've got McDowell back, that's awesome. Sokolova, great, we've got pretty good squad. Right, anyway, we've got some promotions to, to uh, dish out. I couldn't quite get any casual civilian clothing to work for some reason, just... I think it's when it's in the game it works better, but the actual character pool selection screen, it doesn't give me as much choice for some reason, I don't know. Anyway, Commander's Choice, what are you going to be? You're going to be a fun class, actually. You're going to be a Hunter. So, Menace. 
What is the Hunter class? This is all about close range, so they tend to have a vector rifle and a sword off shotgun. Uh, Menace is going to be going down the sword off shotgun route. We've got like shotgun surgeon, basically increased damage. Fire a well placed shot with your sword off that has increased range. I mean, that's pretty good. Double tap. Are you serious? That could be nuts. Uh, what are your extra abilities? More crit. I like that. Survivor. Stormlance. Fire, fire an electrically charged round that pierces through everything in a line. That's interesting. Cool. So there we go. That's going to be a particularly unique build. Uh, the other catch with this playthrough is the fact that we're only allowed one specialization each. So, for instance, we can have three hunters, but they must take the ability in one tree only. And then additional AP can be used to cross train in other ones as well. And the XCOM abilities too. So, yeah, everybody has to take... We're only at three hunters, for instance, and we're only going to have one that specializes in the sword off shotgun. Uh, so it's going to give everybody a, a unique feel, which should be pretty good. Right, Harlek, I know what we're doing with you. We are, in fact, going to go with... I think most people are going to be going, I think it's Marauder, but not in your case. No, 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 no. I need to try and find out where it is, which one I am going to give you. So I've got everything written down on a big old sheet. She's going down melee and we have an amazing... Oh, what's this? Central Rushdown. You gain one movement action point when you activate this ability. In addition, all of... I'm guessing that's meant to say all of your actions for the turn only cost one action. That could be interesting. Uh, she's going down the warrior route. This is all melee all the time. And we even end up with Reaper. And we can also cross train her to have, well, some of the stuff here like Defender. Gain one armor plus five defense. That would be exceptionally useful for her. Uh, but also stuff like this. Enemies affected by Enforcers. Fierce main have, well, I don't even know what I'm reading there. Great reflexes. You have a chance to dodge all reaction fire shots against you. So that's not quite lightning reflexes, but it's, you know, close. Yeah. Uh, survivor. So we've got Champion and Warrior. I think she's going to be going down some of these skills here. But some of these could also be quite nice. So that's pretty good. Okay, who else have we got? We've got Bella. Bella is going to be going down the Heavy Gunner route. She always has been that sort of soldier. Let's get that. Lovely. Extra mag. So they slowly reload every turn. So at the start of every turn, they gain one ammo. So you can get by not reloading, but obviously a lot of their abilities require multiple ammo. So, you know, it's not like you never need to reload. You're going to need to. Okay, Earth Lover, Human. What, what was I going to do with you? Did I even select something with you? I did. Okay, yeah, right. Commander's Choice, you're going to be a support. Not the most fun role. Uh, what sort of support are you going to be? You're going to be a combat support, I believe. Yes, a combat support. So, Surgical Precision. Warden grants plus 10 aim on Overwatches. That's pretty cool. Shield Generator. Ready for anything. Rapid Reaction. So, you can take additional Overwatches, Armor Plates. So, yeah. A supporting role. And then we have Meerkat, who actually is also going to be a support as well. Okay. Well, there we go. Two supports already. Not exactly the most fun starting lineup, apart from, I think, Ricardo and Elvira here. And Bella, I would say, actually. Um, yeah. Okay, it is what it is. Hopefully we'll pick up a few others soon. Uh, yeah, let's do our things, our obligatory introductions with Tygon. We'll get you some Advent Burgers soon, my friend. Modular weapons, of course. Let's go over to engineering. Uh, we do have a few things we need to do in engineering. We are going to build the flashbang. I think that's about it. Tempted to grab an early med kit, but not yet, because Meerkat's going to be um, having that. Right. Now, this is interesting. So, the last campaign I was debating what is the best first thing to build here. Is it the Resistance Ring or the GTS? Now, I've always gone with the GTS first. And I was going to do the same here unless, you know, assuming we have the corner first. But we have the central spot. And the Resistance Ring uh, requires engineers to get full utilization, really. So we're going to build a workshop here. And then obviously everything around here is going to require uh, engineers. So yes, I am going to build the Resistance Ring first this playthrough. I'm going to put Tom in there. A lot of people are retiring. A lot of the old legacy soldiers. So most of the VIPs that we come across that we rescue are going to be former soldiers of mine. So let's get them home. Uh, that's it, really. I think we're done here. We can now go on to the global map. Can we select a covert action? 
I think we can actually. Yeah, we can. I managed to get the mod working for faction bases, so we will be able to take out some of the faction bases. Alright, thank you very much, Central. It's nice to hear your voice again. Right, yes, we know who you are. Okay, great, thank you. We're done here. Harbingers of Blood. Rookies! Yes, please. I would like to do that. But first, I want to see if we can... Yeah, I thought so. Uh, we can locate the Templars then. I would love to do that. So as you see here, we've got... Um, yeah, Rogue XCOM Base Headquarters. So this is like... They're a bit like Mock X. Right, we're going to send two rookies out here because they should get automatic promotions. Uh, who would like more dodge? Who could use more dodge? Hmm, I do wonder. You're a sniper. You are going to be a vanguard, not a commando. Perhaps Deffy, actually. What's Deffy going to be again? Oh yeah, yeah. Saboteur. Nobody here is really dodgy, as it were. <laughs> Sounds a bit dodgy saying that. Hmm. Nobody's going to be sword-based, really. Uh, perhaps Swain, actually. Uh, actually, does anybody already have high dodge? That's the way I should be doing this. So we've gone with not created equals, so everybody's got like a random assortment of stats, as you can see here. Um, interestingly, the support classes have high hacking ability. Can they take gremlins, then, as their secondary weapon? Is that... Is that the thing? Hmm. Nobody here really has high dodge apart from Sokolova and, and Defi, actually. So we're going to work on your look. Just let me know what you want tweaked as well. And we will tweak people's aesthetics. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go for another viewer so we can get them an automatic promotion. Maybe not, actually, because then they kind of sit out of the action, don't they, for a while? Hmm. But the bandits. Cautious. That is going to come back to bite me in the booty, isn't it? Maybe we can get you at least a promotion now. Actually, no. Missions early on are going to be fairly forgiving. So we're actually going to go ahead and throw our sniper, potential sniper out. Yeah. Off you go. And this will also get us a Templar as well. Away. Away with you. Good. Right, let's go pick up some rookies. That'll save us a few supplies. Okay, protect the device. Oh, wow. So we're starting with an assault mission. Very good. So, with COVID infiltration, in case you don't know, there are infiltration missions and there are assault missions. Infiltration missions require some time, I guess, to do. This isn't really the best mission to start with. It gives us some intel, yes, but early game, I'd rather take the supplies and alloys. I'd have loved a supply uh, extraction. Would have been really good. Right, what do we have for sit reps? We do not have any factions. By the way... We're not just going to see enemy factions. At times, we could actually see friendly factions. Yes, sometimes the Templars, the Skirmishers, or the Reapers will be running operations, and they'll be on the map doing their own thing. We'll have no control over them. They'll just be running around, kind of doing whatever. They'll only activate, though, when we see them, much in the same way that the mechanics work for the Lost and Advent. So they'll only be able to see what we can see, sort of thing. Anyway, uh, the first Advent de deployment will be delayed. Uh, updated firewalls. It's a protect the device, so we don't actually need a hacker. But we could use training a hacker, so I think we need to send Spoon out on this one, that's for sure. Okay. Protect the device. These missions are pretty good early on. They're quite forgiving. So, we have two supports here. I don't think we need two supports. We do want to send Elvira out. Are we going to go double swords? We cannot go double swords. That's fine. Are we going to go... Hmm... When I tested this out, I'm pretty sure it gave me the option to give her a second sword. Okay. Well, I guess she's going to have to select a weapon. Perhaps a shotgun. Perhaps we go pistol. I think we'll go for a proper weapon for now, though. We're going to go with standard assault rifle. Just to sort of... This stage of the game, it doesn't really matter so much. Uh, a shotgun might be a really filthy way to go. Oh, yeah. Fire your assault rifle. Wow. Un that yeah, this Enforcer class looks really good, I have to say. It does look really good. 
Do we want a heavy gunner this early? Maybe not. I would like to send out two rookies at least, so we are going to send Spoon out. Congratulations, you're making the first mission. And perhaps Wayne. Do we want our skirmisher? Possibly. I don't know if I feel comfortable sending in more than two rookies. Actually, do you know what? If we send in our skirmisher, although remember, they've got slightly reduced will, so they're going to be quite tired after this, so we may actually want to send out a third rookie. Which, if that's the case, if we drop Meerkat, and we actually pick up maybe McDowell or Peter. 58 aim, 66 aim. Given the fact that we're going with three rookies, I'd rather have the rookie with higher aim. Uh, we're looking at low health, though, so you are going to take the scavenger field armor. No grenade. We do have a flashbang. I think we'll give Spoon the flashbang. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I guess away we go. So, typically, we would start a, uh, a video in the campaign. So, normally, this is where a video would start, by the way. This is just going to be quite exposition heavy. I didn't expect a mission this soon. Like, normally, I get infiltration mission first on all my trial runs. Uh, we need to protect the device. It'll have plenty of health, though. So, we're going to hold on to your grapple. There's no rush there. We don't have much in the way of stealth. We just have a bunch of rookies. Okay, Spoon's going to see something. Oh, hello. Right. We shouldn't see more than a sectoid, really, on this mission. Sectoid and troopers and officers. That that should be it. Ricardo's got the wonderful both barrels. That is going to be... Oh, that's going to be good, isn't it? Very good. Yeah, let's get him up there. Elvira needs to get in as close as possible. We need to work on her mobility. That said, that central rush town will give her a free move action, so that could be quite clutch. And Swain... Obviously, he could, like, hunker down after his first move. There is always that chance. Uh, we're going to move Peter up here. Okay. Everybody's got at least six health. We have a flashbang. So we are covered for dealing with a sectoid, assuming Spoon isn't mind-controlled. Should it use mind-control, of course. Right, and yeah, they're only going to do three damage at a time. We can last at least ten turns, probably more. So, but I'm going to move you here. Hmm. Right. Now, Ricardo should be the one to move down here. Now, there could be something right there, but I imagine they'd be closer to the objective. Elvira, you're going to come over here. They're not going to be able to flank us all the way around here. Now, there could be something around the corner, of course. But again, it is unlikely. We are going to move. We've only got two spots up here. So, Peter, you're going to sit up there. We could come over there, but I think I'd rather do this. Maybe they run back across. It's unlikely they'd go that far. It is possible. JP Paulie, you're going to go and join him down there. We're going to overwatch. And next turn, we're probably going to engage, assuming they don't run too far away. I'm hoping they just stand there. Great. Now, I don't often open with a grenade, but this might be the best thing to do. We can always use justice as well on one of the troopers, and that just immediately eradicates one of them. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is... Mm, it should actually... You two should be swapped. You shouldn't be up here because you can shoot twice. You've got the vector rifle, but you're closer. This is the way to go. So you're going to throw the grenade. Peter, can you, can you hit with the grenade as well? Yes, you can. Who's got the better shots? You're not going to... You've got Phantom. So you're going to stay concealed. So you're going to throw the grenade. You guys are going to take shots. That's only two of you taking shots then. So maybe Elvira does it. Yeah, I think she does. She's not going to be using the sword yet. Yet. Soon though. Uh, Yeah. Here we go, opening with a grenade. 
And we got a four on one of the trooper. No, we didn't. We got a four on the sectoid, naturally. <laughs> I don't often open a for grenade, I don't think. It's a very vanilla thing to do, isn't it? Right, this should be a kill. Solid. First blood goes to Big Red. All right, this is a 66, roughly. Shot nice. And there's your promotion. Okay, good. Right, we have the the capacity to flank, but then we're almost certainly looking at um, a reveal here. But we do have phantoms, so we are going to do a little bit of scouting. Just to make sure that we're not... Oh, you know what? We might be okay. I think we can. We can come here and flank you then. Apparently. Uh-oh. Nope, I don't think we can. I know we could see them, but they can't see us, surely. Nope, we're good. Whew. All right. Take the shot. Nice. Very nice. Oh, we have our last overwatch with Spoon. Oh, and he's let the team down. <laughs> oh. Well, that's an activation there. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Okay, singing a few Hail Marys. They're all bunched together. I don't like that. It's not very fair, is it? Okay, you can come in here. That said, what of our activation chances? Pretty low, because it looks like they're, if they're all bunched together, it should be fine. It's coming off the glaive. Here we go. Ooh, it's all right. First swing of the campaign. Yeah. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure we're okay. Could do this. Like I said, I don't think we're going to get an activation here. Actually, we could just do this. We need to move everybody up anyway. So, yeah, we're going to get everybody forward. Come around here. What have we got? Swain's already got a promotion, so we might as well go with aim on here. If we can. There we go. Good. And that means you're all happy again. Uh, let's kind of go this way. Just so we don't, you know, get a reveal. You should stay in cover. All right. Now we need to find a way to draw them. It looks like they're on the move. Oh, the ones behind moved. And they've seen us. Okay. We have a shot with the vector rifle here. Ooh, you're bleeding. Okay, so the advent trooper is bleeding. Therefore, you're probably probably dead. I would assume. One would assume. That's only a 65%, but it would be pretty strong. We can come over here. And apparently, no, we will activate that group there. So that's not an option either. Uh, are there anywhere else... Anywhere up here? No, not really. I don't like the 65. It's not. It's a bit low. It would just get rid of that trooper. You're in a pretty good spot, so we might as well reload. What are our shots? Crap, they're absolute trash, to be honest. Okay. We're going to try it. Nice. Okay. That takes this trooper out of the equation. Good. Alright, luckily it seems... Mm, I think we can do this. I think we can. Because they're over here, yes. There's a solid wall here. But then if he's peeking out, he might be able to see round. It's, it's a high risk manoeuvre and I do wonder, do question whether or not it's worth the risk. We're also not actually going to be able to get the kill unless we get a crit. So it does make me think maybe we're better off just throwing a grenade. Like, I really do think that's probably the way to go here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you know what? We're going to move 
Torres round here. Just a bit closer. And we've got the both barrels. If we can get into a nice spot, we might be able to kill that officer later on with this. Uh, you're a squaddy, right? So yeah, this is actually... We want to, we do want to destroy the wall a little bit. But not that wall. I just hope we don't... just hope we don't destroy everything. Alright, oh, watch out. We've got a little gap here. No, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's all good. Good. And this is why we've given you an assault rifle, Glaive, because then you can just sort of come in and, uh, you know, take some shots. I think we're okay to move up here. Everybody, yeah. Move up just to increase the aim slightly. So, six health. It's unlikely we're going to get the kill from this shot. Good. We just wanted to soften you up. And then you've already got a promotion. Spoon's got a promotion. So this is all on Red Glaive. There we go. A little bit more XP. Indeed. Okay. How are we doing for ammo? We're pretty good. So we'll just have a few overwatches. It doesn't look like we're going to need them. I say we use a turn to sort of get into position. So we know we... This is giving me a little... Little teaser of where I can go here. I kind of like the idea of sort of everybody bunching up to this wall. Like Elvira here, for instance. Let's go around like that. In particular, Torres as well. Swain, you're going to stay there. Amon, you can stay there because you can grapple up. So Spoon, that leaves us with Spoon. Don't know where we're going to move from here, though, because there's not many places to go. There's around here, actually. Okay, cool. All right. Right, next turn, we activate. How we activate? I don't know. Do we run in? We could... Central rush down. We gain a movement action. And we activate them like this. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright. Let them know you're here. Found. 23 health. We had loads of time. So she can come in with the sword. Take somebody out. It's really the officer that's the only threat here. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Right, where are you going? By the way, uh, Blade Storm is not in this mod, which uh, does complicate things in some ways. You're going to be a like grenade job, I think. Okay, we can jump up here and just shoot you in the back. I love that, but I kind of want you able to do something there. Utilizing hook. But either way, we will utilize the hook. We. Yeah, we can, actually. We can still throw a grenade. Yeah, alright. Uh, yeah, you get two actions, so this will be a kill. Thank you. I'll chuck a grenade. Nice. Okay, over here, we've got the option to come around, take some shots. We can go point blank, actually. I think that is that is the way we have to do this. I think these are the last enemies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. How much is just one barrel? Wow, we, we only need the one. Oh! -ho. And we got some more loot. Okay, this is good. Get Picking up some loot is good. We've got a stock. Can we actually grab this stuff here? I would like that before the mission ends. We should get the loot anyway, but just in case there's a problem, I want to grab the loot. Right, excellent. Uh, this should be a kill. Yeah. What a way to finish. Damn right. Central rushdown, so it looks like she still has a, a move after that. Brilliant, a flawless mission to open it. 
fantastic. So no sign of the factions at all yet. That's fine. We want to ease uh, ease them in. Uh, we've still we're still running the view uh, the what's it a nice debriefing. So basically the game will allocate an MVP each mission. So that was a terrific first mission from Swain here. Uh, two hits. Wonderful job. Good good work. Uh, Aim <laughs> the skirmisher actually got the MVP there. So I suppose that does technically put you in the MVP race. So, okay, three uh, free kills, four for four. Big red. We need to get photos for everybody as well. Yeah, that's something I need to do. Uh, one, yeah, one shot, one kill. Four damage dealt. That's all we needed from you. Spoon. Oh, Spoony. What do you like? You missed your only shot. <laughs> At least you didn't end up in the infirmary. At least that's something, you know, it's not like Rimworld. Uh, we've got two kills here with Ricardo. He, solid damage, look at that, 15. Both barrels, we're going to be able to just wipe out any one enemy for the pretty much the first half of the game with him, so that's really nice. And Elvira, 18 damage dealt, two kills, and she still hit the shot with her assault rifle. So all in all, I'd say that was very nice. And of course, we've got to get a mission photo on the first one, naturally. There we go. And so it begins. Oh yes, we're back to killing the aliens. All right, back we go. We've got ourselves some intel, which is worthless right now, but, uh, well, actually, that's not true. If we unlock the black market, we could nab ourselves an extra scientist quite early on, or an extra engineer. So I might take a look and see, we'll see what sort of infiltration missions we get to rescue another scientist or engineer, and then maybe we'll put that intel towards um, the other one, essentially. And so if we can get a little bit of a head start on both science, particularly science so we can get mag weapons earlier. That'd be pretty chuffed. All right, and we also trained up three more rookies. So, no other promotions though, it's a shame. It'd be nice to have a corporal at this stage, but that's okay. Just happy to train some more. Okay, Elvira and Ricardo. That is a very strong combination uh, because Ricardo can remain concealed to begin with. But we, I did just pick up two Portuguese soldiers, and I would love to bond them. That would be kind of cool. Um, <laughs> just would be really great. So let me have a quick look at this. They're tired as well. No surprise. Uh, what am I doing? Soldier bond. Sorry, excuse me. 8.6, pretty high. I was actually meant to look at you, to be honest. Soldier bonds. Did we have the other Portuguese one? 5.1, not amazing. I think we're going to do this. We might as well. It'll give them a teamwork straight away. Cool. Alright. Well, that's nice. Anyway, we've got promotions to give out. So, Spoon, you are going to be a drone operator. This is basically the gremlin user. I, I was busy thinking you got to deploy, like, drones like you see in Lone War, but no, that's not it. That's a whole separate mod. Uh, so, again, we're only going to have three drone operators, and Spoon is going to be our specialist. That is his specialization, his specialist. This is more defensive, so you're looking at medical protocol. He's going to be one of the two uh, medic-capable soldiers on the roster. Meerkat is going to be the other one. There we go. All right. Uh, who else have we got? Peter, Commander's Choice. He is going to be a heavy gunner as well. So we have our two heavy gunners. We may only have two for the campaign. But yeah, he's going to be the bulldozer. He is just going to be firing, firing, firing. So that's pretty good. And Swain. Swain, you're actually going to be a Vanguard. I told you Commando. You wanted either Commando or Vanguard. I really, I really like Vanguard because I think you can use a shotgun. And I think that would just work really well with you. It would look pretty good. Uh, you get low profile. That's pretty nice ability by default. Fire a pistol. So the pistol's your backup weapon. And you're going to be a runner, I think. We do need to increase your mobility to make that work. So here's lightning reflexes, which is going to be a clutch ability. Is he going to be a runner? I can't remember. I have. Let me just check my sheet real quick. Uh, yes, he is. Yeah. Expendable is going to be an assault. And Dio is the warden because it's got all these crazy pistol abilities. And I think you can dual wield pistols in this class as well, thankfully. So there we go. Right. Well, this is all going a bit quicker than I was expecting. So I guess we want to keep on going until we get our second mission, and then we'll end it there. So, uh, we have a scientist available as well. Ah. Well, nine days, eleven days, as long as that doesn't expire. Where's the thing here saying that they're going to expire or not? There used to be a thing there, I'm sure. 
think I could have predicted this outcome. Okay. Mag weapons. I think that is what we're going to go straight for. And we will pick up a scientist, obviously. And we'll be able to cut down the time. So I'm hoping we'll get mag weapons by, like, pretty early on. End of the month would be nice. Right, rookies. Oh, almost. What's this? So this is a, here we go, an activity chain. So what we're going to do is we can go to a loadout first of all, though I'm going to do that. Okay, we've got Dio, we've got Rannick, and we've got Hannah. That is, that's nice. Really nice. Dio and Rannick. So we've got our sniper, and we've got, as I just mentioned, the other Vanguard. And Hannah is also going to be, I think she's a drone operator too. So we'll have a second drone operator. Love it. That, that's really good. Supplies, they're less important. Uh, okay. Rescue a scientist. Wow, we could get three scientists. So really, uncover the black market. We want to get an engineer then, don't we? Which is very useful, actually, early on. Okay, we're going to need to send another two out. We're going to allocate 25 supplies. Uh, we can increase somebody's dodge here. This actually would, it would make sense to send Elvira, but she's unavailable, unfortunately. So perhaps, who has good dodge? Sokolov, maybe you, actually, yeah. Nobody has really good dodge, so... We're better off stacking it on one person who has some. Uh, they're only going to be away for a few days. So I might. And like I say, I think it's an automatic promotion. Ten days. This means you'll have a sniper in your hand very soon. As a rookie, can you send... Can you take anything else? No. No chance of an ambush either, so... Yeah. I think that's what we'll do. Great. Let's see if we can nab that second scientist. We're going to be loaded up for science. Resistance arena is now available. So that's good. We can run covert operations. Alright, what have we got? Ooh! Any shredding attack from XCOM, XCOM does additional shred. I like it. That's a really good one. Private channel. All mission, all mission timers are increased by two turns. Both of those are very good. Currently, we're doing no shredding. So it makes sense to have the extra flexibility with turns. And then next month, we'll probably swap those around. Because we're going to have basic enemies for the first month. So next supply drop, we'll switch those. Right. Resistance orders, that's done. We need a... We need to excavate. So Tom, away you go. And then we'll get the GTS up and running as well. Oh yeah. Oh, it's nine days. Hmm. Oh, they are down here. The missions are on this side. Sorry. I'm <laughs> Every time I come back to XCOM, it's like, wait, I, I swear I've played this game before, guys. Please, I, I have. I promise. All right. Fatigue from covert operations. That's fine. We got a couple of promotions. And we've got ourselves probably Cohen, who we need to rename. Because I think uh, <laughs> he's been nicknamed the cow for a long time. But he's proven his worth. He used to be a Templar that I was particularly harsh on in Longmore because all he used to do was graze. So I used to call him the cow. There he is. He's back. But we're not giving you your original name. You're not the prophet. You wish. Okay, and we also get Sonic attacks on XCOM will cause damage to the caster. That's a pretty good one, actually. Stay with me. We don't want to use that because we shouldn't be in a position where we bleed out. Like, you should never actually take that one. Uh, right, viewing soldiers, we are promoting Deffy. He is going to be saboteur. Nobody else has really gone for this, actually. Where is it? Or is it Demolisher? Yeah, Demolisher is a saboteur. That's it. I really hope I've got this right. Yeah, he's going for Trapper. That's great. Right, so he's going to be using... He's going to be like a Claymore specialist, essentially. So quick scope, you're able to perform... Oh, a quick shot with a sniper rifle. Oh, yes. Yeah, I have a standard sniper. For now, for now. And Ricardo, also another sniper. So we're getting these snipers in. We'll have our snipers all up and running then. Early. Which is good, because it can take a little while to train them up. And he's got snapshot. Oh, so you can move and shoot. Well, that is delightful. I assume that's the same snapshot from the older Lawn War days. I had a really good snapshot sniper once. Nobody liked the the, uh, the snapshot class. I think it was a, an actual specialization. 
Uh, right, we've got some new things here. Recover experimental items. These can be particularly good early on. Uh, this can also be very good. I would love to get that up and running, but only once somebody's been promoted to corporal, we could rush someone to sergeant, potentially. We do want to uncover the black market. That could be good for Spoon. But we kind of need more soldiers. Former soldier bond, that's not really so good. Uh, we need a sergeant there. Improved combat intelligence, there's an argument for that. Data retrieval. Holy crap! Oh right, requires higher... Oh wow! Raider ambush. Ooh! You can get ambushed by the, um, the raiders. By the way, I assume that's the... I don't know if that's the raider faction. Is there a faction called raiders? I can't remember. We're using four raider factions. And they are all against each other, by the way. Yep. They have no friends. They just want to cause chaos. I am tempted to see what I can get away with here. The thing is, if we have a hack mission... No, it needs to be Carlson because she's the combat hacker. This makes perfect sense. So yes, it makes sense to send you guys out. How long? 22 days you're going to be gone for. Uh, yeah. Yep, this makes the most sense. Let's do it. Okay, good. Anything else covert ops wise that we'd like the look of? Just this. But we need a corporal first. On the local ah, bombs. okay, we're already on the resistance mission. Can we? I think we also might have the ability to potentially rescue Denmother as well. Oh, and we've got these guys back. I just went back just to see how much time we had there. Uh, advance the chain. Good. That's great. The, they are available. Oh, and we've got a rescue VIP from Advent Vehicle. I mean, we want to keep Spoon. Happy and safe. So, uh, for that mission. So we're not using him. We do want to dish out some promotions here. I think you're going down the hunter route. Excellent scouts. Yes. You're going stalker. And of course, Rannick is going sniper. It's going to be fun seeing how these classes develop as well. I'm looking forward to getting some riflemen in in because they're quite effective early on. There we go. And you're going to be a... I've forgotten which way we're going. If you mark small sharpshooter. I've got it written down. Don't worry. We'll get it right. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. I think they're both pretty good. The one of cereal at the end, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Anyway, we have got a mission to prepare for. So let's get a lineup going and we'll end it there. Do we have anything interesting going on? Sit rep wise, maybe. What about over here? This is the rescue scientist that we need to prepare for, an infiltration mission. Okay. Let's form a lineup then. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be your lineup next time. We've got Meerkat in as a squaddy support. We might actually want to give him some med kits. In fact, can we have a quick look at the support abilities? Rapid aid, this soldier can quickly provide aid to an injured ally. Uh, the arc thrower as well in fact that good that is your secondary weapon that's good that's nice little bit of damage uh crowd control i should say it, it could take somebody out of the picture which could really make things easier we want to make sure we're doing enough damage as well we've got a flashbang as well which we've gone ahead and put on deffy here uh so that's good he also let me just make sure i've done one thing correctly this is very important uh hmm, hmm. There we go. Good. Yeah, yeah. Just wanted to make sure that was all in place. Uh, do we have a scope? Did we pick up a scope? No, we've got reaction fire. Actually, that's quite good. If the first shot misses, you can take a second one. That's quite good. We're going to go with the reaction fire one here. And can we go ahead and we'll keep the scope on that? Hmm. Again, there. I would like you to have hair trigger. I want a, that sniper. I want that sniper on point. Uh, we've given the armor to McDowell because he had a five health. As does Rannick, but he should be at the back anyway. Just providing uh, support from longer range. We've got a Claymore here with Deffy. I'm a bit worried that maybe the sniper isn't the way to go. Just on this occasion, I think I'm actually going to get rid. Yeah, you know what? Normally, you might have a sniper. Uh, but I think we're going to give you an assault rifle on this occasion. 
yeah, looks good to me. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Next time it's Operation Crypt Queen. I swear every mission's called Crypt Queen early on in the game. Is this mission just... Is that the name of this mission? This first resi resistance mission? All this time I've never noticed. Huh. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.